visit our sponsor, Narada Real Estate Investments, right now. Get their free ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Passive Real Estate Investing, at PassiveRealEstateGuide.com. That's PassiveRealEstateGuide.com. I'm asked all the time, Christopher, with nearly $12 trillion in negative yielding debt, how do I get a return on my investment and how do I properly diversify? Well, I think with fully renovated cash flow rental properties. It's one of the reasons why I recommend Narada Real Estate Investments. Again, click the link below right now to get their free ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Passive Real Estate Investing. Go to PassiveRealEstateGuide.com right now. It's free. You've got nothing to lose. Click the link below and let my friend know, Marco Santorelli, the Christopher Green of AMTV sent you. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is of course Friday, August 19, 2016. Hope you enjoyed our live show yesterday. Again, we are now broadcasting two days a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, live on YouTube and live on Facebook. Thank you for uh, tuning in and sharing our content worldwide. Today I wanna to talk about Donald Trump and what this movement really means. What you need to know about the movement that is the Trump train. Now, Glenn Beck must have been watching my broadcast yesterday because he pretty much said the same thing I did hours before, but later in the evening on CNN. Can I make a prediction of what's coming? Sure. And I would, I would love to enlist anybody on the left, anybody on the right, anybody who is tired of the lies from both parties that just feel that we can find common ground and common decency among us to listen to what I'm, uh, I'm going to say. I believe Donald Trump is going to lose. I believe he's going to start his own network. I believe it's going to be run by uh, Bannon. Um, I don't think Roger Ailes will be involved because of his non-compete. Um, but Roger Stone will be involved. And what's, what's going to happen is Roger, I mean, uh, um, Donald Trump is going to uh, make this look like it was a stolen election. He will divide us even more. Um, he, with his, uh, his um, alternate right, alt-right kind of viewpoint, it will grow, it will metastasize. There will be maybe 10 to, maybe 10 to 15 percent of the population that will just become virulent, and he will create possibly a third party, um, but he will definitely cause a movement, and it will all be for his going, fame and money. You think he knows he's going to lose, and all of this by the, yes. hi the hiring I think of he Bannon wants is to. to... That he thought it was really interesting that Donald Trump is aligning himself with alt media and Breitbart, specifically news, Stephen Bannon, who was the former head of the news at Breitbart.com, etc., because he thinks that Donald Trump is aligning himself from the media perspective, and you gotta remember, Donald Trump is a media man, the celebrity apprentice, et cetera, so that he would potentially start his own network in the future. Interesting. And I actually thought the same thing, something that I talked about, that even in a worst case scenario, with Donald Trump losing, and I hope he doesn't, I hope he kicks the shit out of Hillary Rodham Clinton, Rodham. Even if he loses in a worst case scenario, he has started a greater, more powerful, bigger movement here in the United States of America. Not just in, from a media perspective. I mean, we're, we're talking about an outright civil war here in the United States, folks, but also from a media perspective. And it's why he's aligning himself in that direction. You see, what's happening in America, folks, is a splintering. People are so angry. They are so tired of the establishment message. They are so tired of the mainstream media. They know that CNN can't be trusted. They know that Fox News can't be trusted. They know that MSNBC can't be trusted. So what's happening? Alt media, alternative media television, it's blowing up. It's getting louder, more impactful, powerful, et cetera. And you see this, and we know this to be truth because AMTV and other organizations like ours wouldn't exist if that wasn't the case. The Trump train wouldn't exist unless that was to be true. So the only thing that the mainstream media can do now is demonize the movement, is to demonize you, the liberty lover, the freedom fighter, the libertarian, maybe you're even more in the middle and you're a moderate. The only way CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, and the power brokers, the banksters that own them can fight this, and people, the criminals like Hillary Rodham Clinton and Barack Obama can fight this, is by demonizing you. Demonizing Breitbart.com, demonizing Donald Trump, demonizing AMTV, demonizing Infowars, demonizing anything that provides an alternative perspective. Because again, as I talked in yesterday's show, they don't have a single tool left 
in the toolbox. It's the only thing they've got. The only thing they can do at this point is just pull from the gutter and say things like Donald Trump is a racist or say things like he's anti-Muslim, even though there's no truth to that at all. He just wants to prevent illegal immigration from crossing our borders and potentially bringing in radical jihadi Islamic terrorists. Again, that's not anti-Muslim, that's anti-terrorism. Also, I think Donald Trump was very much on point yesterday with his recent speech. It was probably the most presidential speech that he's given thus far. And his advisors, Stephen Bannon and others, I'd be advising him just the same as a political operative, is now starting to focus on uniting the country. He didn't say he was sorry yesterday, but he did say that he regrets saying certain things or if it caused any personal pain. Uh, he kind of put that out into the public sphere. He didn't say I was sorry, he just said that he regretted it. But then he also said, at least you know with me, you get the truth. And see, that is the truth. Donald Trump, at the very least, media maverick, CEO, et cetera, at least you know what you're getting with him. You know he's an egomaniac. You know he's an a-hole. You know that he's probably in the race, a lot of it, for his ego. But I truly do believe he's also there for America. And he's a counterpunch and a counterweight to this liberalized, cut-your-dick-off, Bruce Jenner society, which helps to swing I was getting in a debate earlier this morning, helps to swing the pendulum to the other side of the coin, which is what America desperately needs today. Sometimes in the heat of debate and speaking on a multitude of issues, you don't choose the right words or you say the wrong thing. I have done that. And believe it or not, I regret it. And I do regret it, particularly where it may have caused personal pain. Too much is at stake for us to be consumed with these issues. But one thing I can promise you this, I will always tell you the truth. Well, what people need to understand is that this is a giant success. Alternative media is a giant success. Donald Trump is a giant success. You know, Breitbart is a giant success. This alignment with alt media is a giant success because even if Donald Trump loses in a worst case scenario, it's created a giant, powerful vacuum unlike anything that we've ever seen. And I think the first time really in history, we're starting to see, at least recent history, the emergence of a new, is a, is a viable option, a new independent party, a libertarian party, or a third option at the debates. I mean, many of the people that I know, including myself, I'd love to see a Gary Johnson or somebody like him on the debate stage. We should all be pushing for that because maybe it doesn't happen this election cycle, but especially now that the media is behind it, the alt media is behind it, we're behind it, we're only gonna create more interest we're only destroying viewer ratings at places like CNN, and we're only creating more angst when it comes from the perspective of the power brokers that have been controlling the mainstream media for far too long, influencing public opinions and impregnating propaganda into the minds of the sheep that they own, leading all of us to slaughter. And again, the people are tired of it. So this is a part of a much bigger movement than just the presidency. That's what I'm trying to put across in this video today, that we are seeing a splintering, a civil war, not just in the country, with its people, uh, with uh, the politics that, you know, people just fighting this war right now, but more importantly, with the media. And as Malcolm X said famously, and paraphrasing a bit, the media, the mainstream media is the most powerful entity on the planet. There's absolute truth to that. And now that we're getting stronger, that there's more alignment, the alternative media, and we're supporting, I think, and in the future, you'll see the emergence of even brand new candidates. We're starting to provide an alternative and better options to overthrow this radical Manchurian government that makes up the presidency of Barack Hussein Obama and a potential third term of tyranny with Hillary Rodham Clinton. So take note, folks, actions speak louder than words. Donald Trump is strategically placing himself in alignment with alternative media for a reason, because we're blowing up. And the establishment better watch out. But I also want to warn you guys, they're going to demonize us. They're going to demonize Breitbart like they're already doing. They're going to demonize Donald Trump. They may even potentially demonize people like me. They're going to demonize you. 
because it's the only response that they have to a dying, dead, rotten, diseased system that they've created. But here's the good news, folks. We're taking it back. We're getting stronger. There's a strength in numbers. The more of us, the communities that we're building, the more people demanding blowing out and filling up stadiums at the Donald Trump rallies is one example. I expect more of that to come with more candidates, more libertarian type personalities, etc. It only gets bigger, stronger, more powerful, more hard hitting. And we're out for and looking for and implementing real change in this country. I'd like to hear your thoughts, questions, comments in the comment box below. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Hard hitting it in your face. Please support our sponsor below. Peace.